Today we're going to be reviewing the Renogy Solar Suitcase. Check it out. Wow, this is fancy. I was not expecting it to look this good. And on the inside you have the Voyager PWM solar charge controller. And the solar panel comes attached to it. So all you have to do is connect this to the battery. And it even comes with the cables so you can attach your battery. So this is a truly plug and play system. So let's assemble it. First you put these two plugs together. These are really hard to put together. I can't freaking put it together. Just like that. And then you're gonna have two clamps that you connect to your battery. So all you have to do is take a lead acid or a drop-in lead acid replacement lithium battery and then attach the red to the positive and then the black to the negative. Now you need to extend the legs on the bottom of the solar panel suitcase and then tighten them down. Because all you have to do is lay it on the ground. Take this cable that goes to the battery and zip tie it to the other cable so it doesn't get yanked out of the solar charge controller. And right now we have 13.4 volts and we have 5.1 amps going into the battery. For our next test, we're gonna actually see if their claim of saying that the charge controller being completely waterproof is true. We're gonna spray heavy water that has high conductivity all over the charge controller and see if it can still charge this battery over here. <laughs> oh man, I hope it survives, I'm a little nervous. All right guys, I did it for about 20 minutes and I feel like an idiot standing here wasting water. So yeah, let's check to see if it works. All right guys, moment of truth. Oh, look at that, it actually works. Check it out guys, it's still on. Isn't that great? This thing's actually waterproof. I didn't do anything to it either. So it says that the battery is full, so I need to discharge that battery if I want to see it charge it up. So let's do that real quick. So we have an inverter and a heat gun, so now we can check if the solar panel is charging the battery. Super cloudy today and we're only producing 0.4 amps, 0.3 amps because, I mean, the sun just came up and it's cloudy, but it's actually charging. So now what we're going to do is build a super small, simple system. If you buy an inverter, they usually come with clamps, so you want to have the positive on the positive end of the battery and the negative on the negative end. And now what you can do to attach your solar suitcase is put these clamps on the other clamps. This is not ideal. There's not a fuse for the inverter, but if you guys are desperate for solar power, you can build it like this and you will have AC power. Just make sure that you do not run this battery too low. You guys should have a voltage readout monitor for your battery, but if you can't afford one, what you can do instead is use the voltage readout on the Voyager PWM control screen it will tell you how many volts it's at so if it's at 12.6 you're good to go if it drops below 12.2 volts you need to turn off all of your loads from the inverter and then wait until the solar panels recharge the battery but yeah this system actually works so right now I have a heat gun it's connected to the inverter and we're charging up the battery with the solar suitcase if there's any shading on the panel, even this small corner right here, it will reduce the output of the entire panel. So be sure to keep the whole thing in the sunshine, just like this. And the case that they use is so nice. This is such good quality. Even the corners have these plastic guards. And this little latch mechanism is really strong. And this is spring loaded. Like every part of this system is really nice. I was actually not expecting it to be this nice. This is really cool. Now let's see how hard it is to fold it up. I think the hardest part is making sure that this cable doesn't pinch anything. Whoo, I did it. This charge controller, last night I was reading the manual and the Voyager can charge all sorts of lithium batteries. It can charge lithium iron phosphate, lithium ion with NMC, and even lithium titanate. And I've never seen a charge controller have those charge profiles. So that's totally new to me. So this video is sponsored by Renogy, but I was not expecting this panel to perform as it did. I love finding things to critique on solar products, but overall, some of the features that this has, nothing else has. Like this is the highest quality solar suitcase I found, and you can charge up any chemistry of battery, and it's waterproof. So for beginners, this is a really great idea. And most of this system is foolproof. You literally hook it up to any battery, 
but you guys need to understand that this is glass and it can crack. And if you're folding it up every day and moving it around a lot, you could damage this solar panel. So be very careful when you're moving it and packing it up and keep it in the case that it comes in. But yeah, overall, this thing is really cool. I'm actually gonna use this for test stations because I can fold this up and put it anywhere I need. But one thing that I could actually nitpick on is the black frame and black backing on this solar panel. And some of my previous videos, we were testing the temperature coefficient or the output at various temperatures for solar panels. And I found that always the black ones did not perform nearly as well as the white or silver ones. So that would be nice if they had a white frame or white back and another cool thing is if they had an MPPT option but you can't really shove it back there which is a bummer and what's cool about this system though is if you want to upgrade to MPPT in the future you absolutely can you just have to run some wires from the MPPT out to the solar suitcase and you couldn't fit it on the back unless this was a permanent installation what's cool though is you could actually turn this into a permanent installation I mean these frames are so thick and you could just bolt this hinge so that it doesn't open up and you could actually have this as a permanent type solar panel so if you're a doomsday or disaster relief type person this would be actually really good to have in your garage because in an emergency you could take a battery from a car and charge it with this if you absolutely need a way to produce electricity and this would do it i mean you can charge any battery out there it's really cool so yeah, I think this will be actually super useful. I need to put a new page on my website for these solar suitcases. So let me know in the comment section what you think. And yeah, if there's anything that I'm missing that you think that this thing is not good with, please let me know. I think it passed all of my tests. I really like this thing. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and bye.